What's up? <laughs> Come on, bro. What's up, family? Welcome to Ask the Mox. Where we challenge you to stop playing and start pushing. This right here is my, my silly life, <laughs> Yana. And this right here, this is my awesome husband, Ayize Mott. Yeah, like I like how I got that little voice going. <laughs> Why you say it like that? I'm trying to talk, talk like the people talk on TV. Uh, well, Back to you. <laughs> all right, y'all. Um, today we're gonna um, have a have a little conversation about something that we just experienced at the dinner table. What are you looking at? Can I just give a shout out to my husband's gray hairs coming in on it? He said he's been graying. For a while now. How long has it been that you've been graying? I don't know, babe. But can we it's get back to It's video? probably been like a couple of years, can for real. Can we get back to what I wanted to talk you about? You know, he's probably, I would call him probably a premature grayer. You know? Because um, there, there, look that up, y'all. There, there is, like, you can, there's a category for premature gray. You know, there's a, there's a, like a standard All right, y'all, age in which you gray. And then if you do it a little bit earlier than that, then they call that premature gray. Which is, doesn't really mean anything, but I think... I mean, I love my husband's gray. It is quite sexy. Because gray says, what's happening? That's what gray says to me. <laughs> gray says, uh, I'm seasoned. Gray, <laughs> gray says, gray says, I know what I'm doing. That's what gray okay, says. That's what since your gray I, since says I know, Since me. I know what I'm doing, let me you get back do. to them. And they're just coming. I mean, there's so many. Let me see the other side. Oh. All right, boy. You no, let, me see, let me see what Wow! Turn it up. Come no. on. No. All right. Let's get back to the video, boo. It's nice. All right, y'all. So what I was saying is that tonight at dinner, we had a, a little discussion in which my wife and I had a disagreement. We and, did? And I probably started the disagreement based off of a comment that I made. And, and I'm not really trying to offend any woman out there, especially women of oh, the natural hair community. Uh, but, but, you know, I made a comment tonight. They kind of ruffled my wife's my wife's feathers. Well, it didn't ruffle my feathers, did it? Yeah, you kind of like you know you bucked back. I did based off of what I said. You know, she she basically it seemed like she was you know venting as as women often do when it comes to the the hair care process, especially if you have daughters who have natural hair. Mm -hmm. So she was talking to me about ah, oh, you know. No, I was, just, I was not. Yeah, that's the way I heard it. Like no, oh, you said let me so much let me work. tell the story. He said today, today he took our daughters to the dentist and he was in the elevator and a, another woman on the elevator, an African-American woman, right? Mm -hmm. My, my daughters, um, today they have their hair out, kind of like mine is, right? But just all out, you know, wonderful, beautiful, kinky out. And so what did the woman say? Like, I don't. She said, I don't, I, I don't, I don't envy that, that mom. Yeah, she said, I don't envy that mom. So, you know, I, my husband, I was like, Dad, why do, sometimes we have to watch what we say, particularly around little people, you know, even Which around, even around grown folks, you know, because some of us, you know, we like, what you mean by that? Yeah. But I understood where she was coming from because it's a process. Mm -hmm. And that's what I started talking to my husband about. The process. The process. You're kind of, of lamenting over the process. I know what I'm talking about. You know, y'all need to go get a comb. I'll, I'll be right back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to demonstrate something here. Hold on. Wonder what the hell is she about to do? Well, let me continue this story. Basically, after I said, you know, if you're complaining so much about the process, then one way that you can stop complaining about the process is to not engage in the process of altering or changing what your hair already wants to do. And so immediately, almost immediately, I saw the neck roll, the eyes roll. And just the irritation, and I heard some agitation because in her voice. Because what he was saying, I mean, my hair is natural, my children's hair is natural, so, you know, we, we, we definitely believe that the chemicals and all that kind of thing are not healthy, they're not good. So we don't go that route. But it's like he's saying, like, then don't go through the process of combing your hair. Yeah, basically. Um, don't, don't, don't twist your head and don't cornrow it. I don't lock it, don't blow issue, it out sometimes. Don't do that. Just, just be. Issue, just walk around. Just every day. Just, just be. 
call this go to sleep. Yeah, I'm basically saying like if it's an issue, if it's an issue, sounds very good in theory. Sounds very good in theory. If it's an issue for you to go through the process of doing hair, then you can eliminate that issue by just not doing it. And what I said, not that it has to be done because it's beautiful just as it is. What I said to him is, just because it's a process, and just because you know, uh, you know. Women, we like to we talk about that and like, oh yeah, child, you know everything we got to go through with our hair. We don't have to like get rid of the process. It's a it's a part of. I love so stop moaning how my hair is like this. I love it when it's straight. Stop I love complaining it when it, about the process. Yeah, he's like that's that's what I was responding to. He like why well, was stop griping about if you're the gonna process. keep talking about it then just don't do nothing to it. Yeah, basically. I said you you add yourself up, don't you? You be in the in the. See, yeah. I, don't be, I mean, guys, we don't moan you about know, our process. Doing all of this and you getting know? the shape up and all. We don't, yeah, we don't What's, moan about it. Well, you it know? We don't bother. complain. We don't, I, mean, I, mean, I can't well, believe I, I got I to gotta spend talk. six hours. Got to spend six hours on Saturday. I have I mean, I my have day on girls. Sunday. And so if you have two girls, right? I have you two can avoid girls. all of that time. I said two girls. Doing. Filling my wine. I said two girls. <laughs> no, two girls. <laughs> Hmm? You say what? I said, I have two girls. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean I had two. And I'm just playing two. <laughs> All right, let me, I'm, I'm lunching. But, okay, and you got to do like this. Okay, I'm going to show you something. Hold that. That's not going through. That's mm -hmm. not happening right now. Okay. That's not happening. I'm going to have to work on that. That's not going to happen. It's just not. Look, I'm serious. Mm -hmm. It's not going to happen, right? So, in order, and, and the women know. I know I've been looking at, but the women, the, the sisters know. In order to get through that, you gotta, you know, you gotta work on that thing, and my children be all down. <laughs> be doing all that. You know, you wanna be like, get together. You know what I'm saying? But um, just just going through that, just going What's through that process. You know, it's tiresome. It's I have to do one daughter a day. I can't do them both in the same day. So when when he told me that the Woman said that in the elevator. On one hand, I'm like, she need to mind how she says things because sometimes we're not sensitive in terms of how my children could have taken that, even though they was oblivious. They didn't mm. even know, according to my husband. My whole thing is this. That if, you, also, if you complain about the stress, don't subject yourself to the stress. You can complain about stuff, okay? There's certain things that we want to do because we enjoy the final product, mm -hmm. right? Because we enjoy striving towards, you know? You want to... Buy something. You got to save money. You may not enjoy saving money, but you enjoy what you're getting ready to get when you finish saving the money. Mm -hmm. So don't tell me. So basically what he was saying was like, just shut up. That's what you were saying. Yeah, don't I don't, don't want to hear all that. Me. But y'all understand. Y'all <laughs> got a solution. No, you don't have a solution. Don't do it. Whatever. Just here don't, just here don't yet do it. is another reason. Not another reason. This is some good wine. Here yet is another here, here yet? Is it here? Anyway, here yet again. <laughs> Say, here is. <laughs> here is another reason. <laughs> He's trying to jazz it up. Here yet. <laughs> yeah, that's some show. <laughs> no, but here's, a, here's, a, here's another example, another demonstration of how men and women are different. And so, you know, the way that we process, we being women, process, you know, our stuff, we talk about it. And men are just like... Be over hey, it. Yeah, get over it. You know what I mean? Like, what you talking about it for? If it's all that, then it's stressing you like that. And I have to tell my husband a lot of times, not just in this area, because this was something small, just an example, but in other areas, when I'm talking about something and how it's stressing me, you know, he is, like, taking it to another level. Like, if it's like that, then you just need to, like, stop. Or you need mm -hmm. to do this or do that. And I'm saying to him, no, it's not that serious. But his perception is that it is that serious. Because if he had to talk about something to the degree that I talk about it, then for him, he would have to put it to sleep. He'd mm. have to stop engaging in it or do something to change the dynamic because that would mean it was a huge deal. Yeah. It can be a huge deal to some degree, but it doesn't mean it's it's it's, it's not all that. I mean, women, we're just different. Do you understand where I'm coming from? We talk through our stuff. Mm -hmm. You see, we process. We verbalize. We get it out in the atmosphere. We take it through a few ears. I'm going to be hooking up this weekend with a couple of my girlfriends. And they be like, yeah, I need, we need to get together. Because I need to what? Talk. You can talk to me, baby. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> That's not happening. Okay? Just not about natural Because you, you know, you're looking at your watch and you're trying to, you know, figure out how long this is going to be. Uh, I mean, nah, I'm not going to say don't and talk even, about natural even, hair. Because, I mean, I love natural hair. I mean, I... I'm I'm a big advocate, but what I'm saying is that talking about your your process of doing natural hair, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to our daughters, you can keep that to yourself unless you want my solution, which is to do nothing. 
Shut up. And just let it be. Whatever. Just let it be. Anyway, y'all, we just thought we would just come to you all today to just shoot the breeze. Long day. Had to sit down, have a glass of wine, relax, chill, and make sure that we talk to our Blam family. As always, make sure you visit us at blackloveandmarriage.com if you're viewing this elsewhere on the web. Remember, you got to take time to just chill, to just be. Because at the end of the day, no matter what, you got to stop playing and start pushing. You're corny. <laughs>